So, post a new quest. Uh, let's see if it's an optional. Snatch the Snatcher. This is what we wanted. So, capture a Kulu Yaku. I'm hoping that they're going to give us some additional equipment that's going to be like capture items and we'll, we'll get into the habit of capturing things. So, other monsters just list small monsters, I think. I don't think there's anything else big on that list. We fail if we faint three times and we have to be a hunter rank three or higher. The Kulu Yaku uses nibble forearms to pick up stones and eggs. Monsters that use tools are exceptionally rare. I'd like you to capture one for closer study. I think he spawns up at that top area, so we'll go with the eastern camp. Tutorial Capture Quests. Thank you, Tutorial, for finally popping up and giving me what I want. Capture Quests require you to weaken the monster, trap the monster, use a tranquilizer to capture the monster alive. Be sure to bring the traps and tranquilizers you'll need with you. You'll find them in your item box or the supply box. Traps are such as shock traps and pitfall traps. Tranquilizers are trank bombs tranquilizing ammo, etc. Traps and tranquilizers can be crafted or brought from the provisions stockpile. You must significantly weaken a monster before you can capture it with tranquilizers. So there's a video on this one. We'll play that after we've read the text. Once the monster's health is low enough for tranquilizers to be effective, it will begin to limp. That's your cue to stop attacking and ready your traps. Be careful not to deal too much damage to the monster, as accidentally slaying the target will result in you failing a capture quest. Yeah. <laughs> Let's watch. So the movie has him hit the rock a couple of times, and then watch him limp off. Okay. Cool. Limping monsters will attempt to flee to their nest. We've seen this before. In order to recover their health. Select a trap, such as a shock trap, from the item list and place it in the monster's path, X. Once you've snared the weakened monster, you're nearly done capturing it. It can also be effective to place traps around the nest where the monster is sleeping. Wake the monster up and lure it into the traps you've set. Let's play the movie. There's the shock trap, there's him crouching and limp and you drop the rock okay and then what happens once you've successfully snared a monster in your trap select the trank bomb from the item list and press x to throw it at your target so it hits the monster's face once the monster is asleep you've captured it you can always also use trank ammo when you're using a ranged weapon Capturing a monster will also fulfill the completion requirements for hunt quests. While you'll be unable to carve items from your target, you gain different rewards from the quest results screen than if you'd slain it. Let's watch the movie. There he is. He's throwing trank bombs at the monster's front. And it's down and out. Okay. So I kind of get it. I wonder if they give us any free ones on the mission. The goal of this quest is to capture the monster. You'll fail the quest if you slay it, so be careful. The supplies you need to capture a monster are on site. Make absolutely sure you have trank bombs. That one's a must. Easy trank bombs, easy shock trap, trap tool, empty fire. Okay. Cool. So let's 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 try not to fail this one. Try and make them proud. So, is this where maybe I can buy for the item bar? So, I can move them around in the item bar, but how do I. I want to change that quick menu. That's what I don't get. 
Customize radial menu. Quest settings. Okay, here we go. We'll get rid of fire SOS flare. And then we'll... Hmm. Remove. Why can't I... Oh, here we go. Just pressing the wrong button. We'll turn that into the... Easy shock trap that we've gotten given from this. And then we'll change potion from the radial menu because I, I don't use it from there. That's why I'm always like mouse over. We'll change it to the easy trank bomb. I don't know if this is a good idea, but we'll try hot keying it that way. <laughs> and then we'll, we'll just pray. Pray for the best. We're on the hunt! Alright, let's go at it with all we've got, she says. Yeah, sure. Ah, dang it. I haven't been putting my items away at the end of missions. Womp, womp. I do kind of wonder if I can do that here. Just one, one quick look in the box. See if I can just store stuff. Dean, I'll turn in. See you tomorrow. Thanks for sticking with me. And uh, yeah, I, I don't think it'll be too long before I stop. So you won't miss too much. And yep, hopefully see you tomorrow. A good time of day. Bye-bye. It doesn't look like we can do too much more with the storage with... with Getting rid of items out of our inventory, so we'll probably just uh, try and do the fight and then exit without looting too too much stuff. Oh, bait bugs! Uh, yeah. Um, do we have tracking on on our guy? Carrier and cargo. What's this? We found a barrel shell? That's weird. I guess I'm in a new location. So maybe my character doesn't know how to, um... Doesn't know how to track the Kula Koo here. <laughs> Uh, okay. I guess we'll just wander around and look for it. Maybe we'll find some tracks as we go. Yeah, that's rough that I didn't clear out my storage before we started this. Ooh, mining. Old footprints. Aha. Uh -huh. Are you the guy? We don't know. It's still a question mark. Herbs. I definitely have room for herbs because they make potions. Brilliant.
Yeah, I just uh, for this for this terrain, we don't know where the Kulaku is because we don't we haven't really seen him here too much. Whereas if it was on the other map, we'd know right where to go. Seems like if you do the leave this item, you still get like a pop up on the right saying you picked it up. I'm I'm not sure if it's really the end of the world. Hey, there he is. Ha! Huh. Didn't even follow the tracks, just walked into him. I don't know why my cat's sending me a heal before I, I'm even there. Oh, he's, de he's like deployed a heal that isn't used up immediately. That's cool. Oops, fell off. That wasn't my intention. Uh oh. Hey, if he falls off, that's fine because then maybe I can get him. <laughs> that's so cool. Triple strike. Boom. Now we've waited on him quite a lot. I don't know if we ought to wait to see if he's limping. No, he seems fine. Okay. You got your target on the ropes. Now put down a trap and capture it. Okay, so she's kind of giving us a little bit of a spoiler there. Because we don't really know that it's limping yet. See if I can make it run off. I want to double check, I don't trust her. No, it's still fighting. Just gently sweep at it until we see if it runs off. Yeah, she lied to us. She literally said, oh yeah, you can capture it now, go. No, well now it's limping. It wasn't before. I don't know. This is confusing. It doesn't even have like a skull on the on the on the map icon. Look at that. But we're told that, you know, if it's limping it works. So is he gonna is he gonna fall asleep? No, he's eating an egg. Well, we should stop him from doing that. He might heal out of that. Okay. So, radial menu. There's the trap. Apparently I use, like, a potion or something as well. Accent. Well, I can't. I don't have any more traps. But I guess I fail? It keeps on making me drink potions because the radial menu just doesn't act. Crafting list. Can I quickly craft one? Yeah, I can use some of my own. Okay. So I'm going to select my shock trap and then quickly menu swap. Oh. You can't carve materials from a captured monster. However, you will receive more rewards than usual once the quest is over. 
So that was weird. I didn't have to hit it with any more tranks, so maybe you can just hit it with a bunch of easy tranks first, and then put the trap down when you feel like it. Or maybe that will wear off as well, and it's a little bit uncertain. Sorry about that, accidentally hit the microphone. There we go, should be fixed again. So I'm not sure if we can really notice what extra we got on the rewards, except that, you know, it told me I would get more, so maybe I did. No way of knowing. Pretty cool. Level 3 Baroth. The largest Kulaku, or the second largest. There is a silver crown, so maybe. Uh, record your first silver crown or higher for monsters that appear from low or high rank. And capture your first monster. So, I guess I got one of the possible largest ever, in that he's silver and not like gold, but it was at least as big as a silver one. So I guess it was a massive, comparatively, Kulaku. Which is great. We should probably listen to what the chief botanist has to say before we do anything else. So let's see what's going on here. Ooh. So we're capturing our dragon now. This is going to be a major headache. Okay, tell me about what you found. Completed a limited bounty. Four armor spheres and 450 research points. Cool. Let's complete deliveries. No, there's no new ones. Register bounties. No, there's no new ones. What about investigations? Oh, I like this. There's like a really high end 30 minutes, faint two times, hunt two monsters ones for, for gold rewards. It seems totally worth it. Some more capture. Hula Yakuz. Gold rewards, yes. I think we'll just check anything with a gold reward on it. Now that we know a little bit more about capturing. I'd say I'm the capture master over here, but we can at least try a little capturing. Hey buddy, don't you think it's time to be crazy? We're trying to capture Zora Magnaros. I mean, what are we going to do with it? Teach it to sit or play fetch? Let's buy some more uh, trap parts. 20 trap tools, done, sold. Doesn't look like he's going to sell me any of the, the bugs that we need, but that's fine. And we'll try managing our storage a little bit. See about crafting some more shrank bombs. Tell it to auto craft as well. And then this one's on auto crafting too. Just try and make as many as possible. So I really need to find a lot more parish rooms. Because it seemed like you needed to really trank bomb the monster in order to, to get it out of there. There's drugged meat as well. Maybe that, that'll uh, do it. Who knows? And we should definitely put in the trank bombs and the shock trap so that we're carrying it on us when we can. So there's the guy we captured. Pretty cool. Let's see what he has to say about it. Hello. Ah, Hunter. I must thank you for capturing the Kulu Yaku. This is a little thank you from the Go-Getters. I insist you have it. 500 points. Awesome. 
I can use those points at the canteen. Good to see you. Splendid, the fifth fleet, just who I was looking for. At present, we go getters are studying the bounce behavior. That's right, we're ready to get down in the mud with it. That's what it takes to learn about its habitat. Good luck. The quest is called Landing the Landslide Wyvern. Any assistance you can give would be most appreciated. New quest added. Capture a Baroth. I really want to do it, but I, it, it seems like we, we're going to need some more Trank Bombs. Although, seeing as it's a mission in and of itself, I guess they're going to give us some easy Trank Bombs and why not in order to do it. Elder Dragon or not, we can't capture Zora Magdaros. I just know it. Oh, we can. The trick is making sure we understand our target to go about the correct preparations. So we got some more field guide for the broth and the Juratodus. Let's look at the broth first. We just discovered more about what drops off of it, I think. And the Jura Todus, a large Pison Wyvern that inhabits the swamps of the Wild Spire Waste. It uses mud to capture prey. It's known to battle Baroth over territory. The, yeah, they were both kind of like mud creatures, so I, I, I can see that. It's nearly possible to fight a Jura Todus in its swampy home, coerce it to land, and then use water element. Weapons, or your slinger to slowly chip away at its hardened mud armor. The thing is, you can only deal damage to it when it's covered in mud with water weapons. So, isn't that a problem if you go out there with a water weapon and you're all like, aha, I'll do what it says, coerce it to land and hit it with the water weapon, well what, what about when the mud runs out, right? I got no idea. Uh, physiology. You can break the mouth, you can break the tail, but you can't sever the tail. You can also break everything else, like the back and the, the arms. Interesting. But only the tail is a weak point and only the face is a weak point. Gotcha. Speak to the chief barnist. Sure. Whoa. Oh my! Anjanath is one Nazi monster. You better make sure you go and doubly prepared. Now down to business. The reason I called you over is we're having a slight problem here in the botanical research and we need your skills dealing with it. You see, we're trying to develop some tools. Specialized tools for hunters to be exact. Something we'd like to make standard issue. But a Toby Kadashi in the forest has been thwarting all our attempts to collect the materials we need. Do take care of it, won't you? Here, take this. It's the first tool we've managed to complete. I hope you find it useful. There's more when that one came from. <laughs> But only if you take care of our little problem. Thank you and good luck. It's giving me a ghillie mantle. Specialized tools. Specialized tools refer to clothing and equipment that grants you useful unique skills. For example, using the ghillie mantle will temporarily prevent monsters from being able to see you. I guess the monster was looking the wrong way for a second while he put the ghillie mantle on. And then he used a, a slingshot to lure it over somewhere else. Jumped and did the... Oh my god. That's the greatest movie ever. And this one he's got the ghillie suit and now he's going to shoot. Wow. There's a lot of really clever uses for it. Effect duration and cooldown times. Specialized tools must be equipped and then used as items for their effects to be activated. They can be used an unlimited number of times but have a cooldown time after each use. You can check the effects of any specialized tool you have equipped from the equipment info in the menu. Okay. Our next assignment is to hunt a Toby Kadachi. We should be able to find it in the ancient forest. 
So it's back in the uh, back in the, the starting zone. Let's see if we can make any new items, weapons. I got a wish list, uh, this one here. Yeah. And also this one here. to make the first dance katana. And also the bone show tool three. I think we will make the first dance. Currently made with an iron katana too. Which is what this was. Okay. Let's see what the differences were. So this has 33 more damage, 15% affinity, and a little bit more sharpness. Seems nice. Looks kind of cool on the character's back as well. Let's see what's going on in Slicer Town. Nothing new we can make yet. Almost there for a few more different things. It would definitely depend on what we're going to attack next. What weapon we should bring the poison one, the water one, or one of the plain ones. But it is half past nine, so I think I will uh, come off the streaming for now. And hopefully I'll wake up at a good time tomorrow to start the stream again at a normal time of day. That'd be nice. So, Monster Hunter World, very fun as always. And we've tried out a few more weapons today. And I like them. Uh, so as always, you can join us on Twitch TV and YouTube, and the links to each and either one will be in the description of wherever you've seen this video. And customary goodbye, thumbs up, and a wave. See you soon.